Let's talk about five beauty hacks I've never heard anybody talk about. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany, if you are new here, and today we're gonna be going over five beauty hacks that I've never heard anybody talk about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, so let's just get on into the tips. All right, so the first tip is how to get your mascara to not have clumps on the end and those little balls. I absolutely hate that. And for years I was trying to come up with an idea of how to eliminate those. And I think I have. So you wanna use like your normal regular mascara, but you keep the old one. Once it's kind of dried up, you don't get rid of it. And you run the tip of it under water and you get the mascara that's still in there because there's normally not that much pretty watery. So you do your mascara like you normally would, but then on the tips of your lashes, you pinch off any of those little balls that you have at the, at the top that's making them look kind of clumpy, and you run the real watery mascara over the tips of your lashes. It can be pretty watery, but it just makes your lashes look super fluttery. A lot of times people will ask if I have lash extensions, and I think it's because of the tips of them are going up to those nice little points, and they're not clumpy at all at the top. And I think this makes a huge difference, and I really hope this helps somebody, because I know if I'm having a bad mascara day, it like could ruin my day, not really, but I don't feel as good about my makeup if my mascara is all clumpy. So if you try this, I hope it works for you. And let's just get on into tip number two. This next one is to get very smooth legs. So everybody's normally, if you look up how to get smooth legs, you know to exfoliate and you know to moisturize. But my tip is, I have two tips in this one, but it is to shave your legs if you have a bath in a very hot bath when you're very, very warm. Because I know if I shave my legs in the shower and I'm like kind of chilly, you sometimes have like those little goosebumps on your legs and you never are gonna get a smooth shave even if you go over your legs like multiple times with the razor. So the first thing I would say to get a bath, make it very warm, make sure your legs are very warm and you shave in the shower or you shave in the bath instead of the shower. And then when you get out, you wanna use a very thick moisturizer. I use the CeraVe one and it's very thick, but it's non-greasy. And you moisturize one leg, you moisturize the other leg, and then you go back and you double moisturize. And this will really help lock in the moisture, make your legs extra smooth. And I suffer with like kind of dry legs anyway, and sometimes they don't feel super smooth. But when I do this, they feel really nice. So I hope this helps if you have the same problem as me. Number three is something that I do every single day as well that always happens to me, I don't know why, but it's when I'm done doing my makeup, I start to have a little bit of like a runny nose. And obviously you don't wanna be blowing your nose with a tissue once you've just done your makeup because you're gonna rub off all that makeup. So this is only if like you have that little bit of like clear runniness. I know that sounds kind of gross, but I'm sure we've all dealt with it. But you use a Q-tip and you just like put it in like the tip of your nose to get any of that little bit of runniness that you have and you don't ruin your makeup. It helps completely, it gets rid of that. And I use this every day because I don't know why as soon as I've done my makeup, my nose starts running. This next tip is to exfoliate your lips in a different way. So I have those lip scrubs that are kind of like oil-based and they have the little granulars in them and you rub them all over your lips. And I do use those at night when like I'm washing my face, but they can get kind of messy. And if you've done your makeup already and then you realize you wanna exfoliate your lips, sometimes it can be really tricky to exfoliate them without getting it around your mouth. So I use a exfoliating mitt and you just put it on, you rub it on your lips. You can be a lot more careful with where the mitt is going, obviously because you're using your finger. And it makes your lips so much smoother than those lip scrubs because you can put a little bit more pressure, but it's not like too, um, exfoliating on your lips so they never like it's never too much but I love doing this because sometimes when I'm done doing my makeup then I realize that my lips like could be a little bit smoother before I put on lip product so I use those mitts I think it's it works so well and hopefully it will work for you all right and our last tip I mentioned on a YouTube short but if you didn't see that video I wanted to make sure I mention it in this one it is a different way of drying your face so I used to dry my face with the hand towel that's in our bathroom. And I change it out every couple days to try to keep it clean. But I started drying my face with a paper towel instead. 
And I have not gotten a pimple since I started doing this. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but I think it just helps overall keep bacteria off your face because everybody knows and has probably heard of trying to keep your toothbrush covered because when you flush the toilet, a lot of bacteria flies around the bathroom. So I think that still that goes for the hand towel as well. I, I think like even if you're changing out your hand towel, it's probably not as clean as you think. So dry your face with a paper towel. I keep the roll of paper towels underneath the sink. And I think it could really help if you're struggling with getting like random pimples or if you have a lot of pimples or if you're just having any type of skin issue. All right, and those are my five tips that I've never heard anybody talk about. Hopefully you guys can try them out or let me know in the comments if you do, if you think they are good tips. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys all in my next video.